Hey, it's Joey with TechNet Edge. We're here at TechEd 2009, and I just got done doing a bunch of really cool sessions on Windows Server 2008 R2, and there's one little feature that didn't get all the highlight and the buzz that I think a lot of you want to see. So when we set up and we start talking about server core on Windows Server 2008, you know, that slimmed installation that you get just a nice little command prompt window, one of the complaints that we got a lot from IT professionals is the fact that it's really, really difficult to do things like renaming it. You've got to use the, net, the NetSH command to go in and set up all the IP addressing. We made it a lot easier for you to manage uh, server core, not only from a GUI, but also to set up those little things. So let's take a look at some of these things right now. So what you see here is server core. Nothing sexy. It's just a command line sitting there blinking at you. When you want to configure server core, say the computer name or the IP address, before we had to use a whole bunch of commands, we had to go out, we had to look them up, it was always kind of a pain. But now, we have this great utility called sconfig. So when I launch sconfig, you'll see here that I now have a just simple menu here that I can go in and I can configure things. So you can see that I have the option to go ahead and change my domain or my work group or my computer name. Uh, add an administrator account, configure remote management, but see this is the best part here. I'm going to go ahead and select option number eight to configure my network settings and you'll see here that I can actually go in and see what my network interfaces are here and what the IP addresses are. So if I select this one here, I can actually go in and set options. Do I want to set the IP address? Do I want to go ahead and change my DNS server? Maybe clear out my DNS settings, right? So all of my network adapter information is right here in one nice little interface. I don't have to go out and check TechNet all the time for those NetSH commands. Really cool stuff. The other really cool thing that we've got now with Server 2008 R2 is the ability to do remote management with Computer Manager, which I'll show you here. In Windows Server 2008 R2, we can actually remotely manage machines using Server Manager. There's always one of these things that I kind of had a pet peeve about previous versions is that I couldn't simply right click inside of server management and choose connect to another computer. But as you can see, that option is now available to me. So I can continue to manage all of my servers the way I'm used to doing them remotely from my desk, Windows 7. It's currently available in the remote server administration tool so I can no longer have to go and connect in through a, an RDP connection. So again, right click, choose connect to another computer. I'm going to connect to Den Core 01. You see it's already flipped over and we're going to connect in and take a look at what we've got installed on my server. And th this again, this is my server core server, the same server I showed you the sconfig on. And you'll see I've got all of my roles and all of my features. You see this particular case, it's a web server. Um, so I can get all of the information that I need to using the graphical user interface that we all know and love. So that's a little bit about how we've enhanced the new management functionality in Windows Server 2008 R2, specifically as it relates to Server Core.